made it. Yeah, it was definitely different. They made it all switchbacks. Made it all switchbacks instead of the straight up hill climb. But the turns were still pretty tight. the hill climb just uh, waiting on some side-by-sides to come down saw a bunch of them up there I'll wait for them to come down but uh, yeah they definitely changed that definitely changed it some they made it uh, those tight switchbacks instead of the straight climb which the straight climb was always fun but I can understand why why they changed it for sure so we're getting ready to come out you can't see it but on the other side of this peak there we're gonna top out on the Continental Divide, so. All right, so yeah, this is the trail. This is like kind of the shorter trail, but it's steeper. It goes right through the middle of the screen here, and you can see it top out over the top of the mountain there and then once we go over it we'll turn right and go up this way but you can't really see the exact location we're waiting a bit for these uh, side by sides wherever they are to come down because there's not a lot of places to pull over and let people go by but this is a pretty awesome spot here a few years ago we were up here and we saw a female moose laying down kind of over in this area. Just laying down in one of those grassy spots. It's kind of cool. I had my uh, telephoto lens for my DSLR and we were able to zoom in and take a cool photo. All right, looks like they're not too far. So once they, once they get down here, we'll take off and make our way up there.
We're almost there. Almost to the top. I don't know if you can hear me at all because it is super windy up here but we made it to the top continental divide just kind of looking around Finally found a spot with no wind, so I can talk for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of traffic out here today. More than there has been in a long time. I think it's because people are boycotting Silverton, so a lot of them are coming over here to ride this year. But we're getting ready to head back down the hill in a little while, and we're going to go the, the other way down. Not the same way we came up, so... I just also checked the my compass and it said we're at 12,800 feet. All right, well, we're getting ready to head back down. Once we get out of the wind, get down on a flat spot, we're gonna eat some snacks and drink some water and then continue on. And if we can, if we have time, I wanna try and go as far as we can down Center Stock Drive. And uh, I think they narrowed it to where you can only get four wheelers through there. But if we get to that point, you know, we'll just stop and turn around.
pulled over to have a bite to eat, eat some snacks, get some water. Just kind of rest for a bit because the, the next part's going to be pretty rough. So I'm going to try and just uh, chill for a little bit. So uh, we met, uh, I didn't have my, uh, my Osmo Action on for a good part of that on the way down. So I was trying to save, save some battery. But uh, I'll turn it on here in a little bit. But uh, we met three side-by-sides on the way down. And uh, <laughs> so the rule out here, if any of you have never been, the rule is whoever's going uphill has the right-of-way. So we were going uphill, and there was nowhere to get over. They just came trucking on down the hill. And I had to basically, you know, go off trail into the grass to get out of their way because they weren't going to stop. So... If you ever uh, come out here, just know that whoever's going uphill has the right of way. But uh, there's a lot more people out here than, uh, than even last year when we were here. Not a bad thing, I guess it's good for good for Creed, but sometimes I'm a little bit overprotective of my Creed and my trails, so I like to I like to have them to myself. But anyway, we're gonna finish up our snacks and then head down. And like I said. I'm going to try and go down the center stock drive trail as far as we can because there's one specific scenic overlook I want to get to. Um, we used to stop there and take photos of all our four-wheelers lined up when I was a kid. And uh, hopefully we can get there. gonna try and go up center stock drive here see how far we get before we have to turn around
Yes, there it is. 